Hi, thanks for joining me. Happy New Year. Today I'm going to be doing a fun sort of number theory proof, uh, and it's a divisibility trick. I want to know when a natural number capital N is divisible by 7. So, of course, you could just divide through and see if you get a remainder or not, if you have a calculator. But these are some sort of tricks that you can use in perhaps some non-calculator exams. So like your, and these are sort of classic for like the maths challenges or like the Olympiads and those sorts of things as well. So it's a trick you should definitely know. Anyway, let me give you an example of how we know if a natural number n is divisible by 7. And then I'll get into proving why this holds for ev every natural number. Okay, so let's look at a number we know is divisible by 7. So let's say 217. Okay, because of course that's 210 plus 7 and 210, so that's 31 times 7 basically. Um, but the trick is, you take the last digit of your number, so in this case it's 7, and then you double 7, so you double that last digit, so you get 14, and then you do what's left of your number, so 21, minus double the last digit, so minus 14. And if the number you're left with is a multiple of 7, then your initial number is a multiple of 7. So in this case, we've got 21 minus 14, which gives us 7, and 7 is clearly a multiple of 7, so that means our initial number, 217, is also a multiple of 7. So let's just look at a bigger example, 1342. So let's see if this number here is a multiple of 7, so same thing, uh, double 2, that gives us 4, then we're going to subtract 4 from this thing here, 130, 134 minus 4 uh, gives us 130, and this thing here isn't a multiple of 7, because 133 is a multiple of 7, um, and of course that's not 7 off uh, 133. Okay, so that tells us that 1342 is not a multiple of 7, and that's the trick. You take the last digit, you double it, and then you take it off, take it off from what remains. Anyway, let's prove that this works. <laughs> Okay, so we want to prove that this cool divisibility trick works for every natural number, capital N. So let's just take an arbitrary uh, natural number to capital N, and let's suppose it has t uh, digits. So if it's a single digit number, then t equals 1. If it's a two digit number, then t equals 2, and so on. So n is a t digit number, so that means it's something like this, a0, a1, a2, oh, let me write this other way around actually, a t minus 1, a t minus 2, a t minus 3, so on, and these are dots actually, uh, a 2, a 1, a 0, and I put this bar on top, and that just means concatenation. Um, so I'm just looking at these numbers sort of shoved together. So if I was looking at the case t equals 3, say, so I have a 3 digit number, and let's say it's, I don't know, 327, so this is t equals 3, and I'm looking at n equals 327, then that would mean that a 2 would be 3, a1 would be 2, and A0 would be 7. So of course when I shove these, two, these three numbers together, I get 327, but I don't get 3 times 2 times 7. So this sort of thing here doesn't mean multiply, it just means shove them together. Okay, so N is of this form here. But then of course, because I'm considering things base 10, of course I can write this as the sums of powers of 10. So this thing here is precisely a t minus 1 to the times 10 to the t minus 1, plus a t minus 2 times 10 to the t minus 2, plus dot dot dot, all the way down to plus a1 times 10 to the 1, which is just 10, and then plus a0 times 10 to the 0, which is 1. Okay, so n is precisely this thing here. Now what I want to do is get my new number from that divisibility trick. So remember, I'm taking off that last digit, um, and then uh, uh, subtract it, subtracting what's left. Uh, so sorry, then what's left, I take two of that last digit off from. Okay, so our new number, let's say n tilde, is going to be this thing here, so n, but without the a0. But remember now this number, we sort of have now go from a t-digit number to a t-1 digit number. So this thing, we have to divide through by 10. Okay, so just to see that, let's look at 327. If you wanted to see if that was divisible by 7, remember we take the 7 off, double it, and then subtract it from what's left. So that's now a two-digit number then subtract 14 from that. Okay, so that's why we're dividing through by 10, because if we just subtracted 7, what we'd have is 320 minus 14, and that's not what we want, we want 32 minus 14. So that's why we divide by 10 there, and then of course we're taking off 2 of the last digits, so 2 a naught. Okay, so our n tilde is this thing here, n minus a naught over 10 minus 2 a naught. Now I claim that n is divisible by 7 if and only if n tilde is divisible by 7. Let me bring these up to the top of the whiteboard and we'll prove that that's the case. 
Okay, so we have that n tilde is equal to n minus a0 over 10 minus 2 a0, and I claim that n is divisible by 7 if and only if n tilde is divisible by 7. And how we're going to prove that is by looking at things mod 7. So we're going to suppose firstly that n tilde, oh, sorry, we're going to firstly suppose that capital N is a multiple of 7, so in other words it's congruent to 0 mod 7, then we want to prove that n tilde is a multiple of 7, and then I'll do the reverse direction. So firstly we're going to assume that n is a multiple of 7, so in other words it's 0 mod 7. What I'm firstly going to do is multiply both sides by 10, so I get that 10 n tilde is equal to n minus a0 minus 20 a0, because of course I have to multiply this thing by 10 as well, but of course I can bring these together just to get minus 21 a0. Okay, so if n is a multiple of 7, then that means that this thing here is a multiple of 7, and we're subtracting off a multiple of 7, because this thing here is 7 times 3a0. So this thing on the right-hand side is certainly going to be a multiple of 7, so it's going to be congruent to 0 mod 7. Okay, but now we have 10 n tilde is congruent to 0 mod 7, but because 10 and 7 are co-prime, I can divide both sides by 10, and then conclude that n tilde is congruent to 0 mod 7. Okay, so that shows that if n is a multiple of 7, then n tilde must be a multiple of 7. And now what's quite nice about this is we can also do the reverse direction. So if n tilde is a multiple of 7, then certainly n is a multiple of 7. And that's not too difficult to see. If we just go back up to this line here, if we now suppose that n tilde is a multiple of 7, so going from here to here is just multiplying through by 10. So now if we suppose n tilde is a multiple of 7, and that means this left-hand side is 10 times a multiple of 7, so certainly a multiple of 7 on the right-hand side. So then this thing here is congruent to 0, mod 7. Okay, so then it follows that n minus 21a0 is congruent to seven, uh, 0, mod 7. So n is congruent to 21a0, mod 7. But of course, 21a0 is just 7 times 3a0, so in particular a multiple of 7. So then we just have that n is congruent to 0, mod 7. Okay, so this is a cool divisibility, <coughs> divisibility trick, and it's if and only if. So when we apply this divisibility trick, the new number we get, that's a multiple of 7, if and only if the original, num multiple of seven, uh, um, original number was a multiple of 7. And what's really cool about this trick is you sort of reduce the number of digits by 1 each time. So if you start off with a 5-digit number, that can be very difficult to sort of divide by 7 straight away. But if you just want to know if it's a multiple of 7, you apply this sort of algorithm once to get down to a 4-digit number, you apply it again to get a three-digit number, then you apply it to a two-digit number, you should hopefully be able to sell whether or not a two-digit number is a multiple of seven, and if you really need to, bring it down to a one-digit number, and um, if that what remaining one or two-digit number, whichever one you choose, is a multiple of seven, then that means your original five-digit number is a multiple of seven, as well as all the ones in between. And similarly, if that last one isn't a multiple of seven, then it doesn't mean, and then it means that all the uh, other numbers are not multiples of 7 either. Anyway, that's a cool number theory trick to bring you into 2021. If you've not seen it before, it's really cool. Uh, I would recommend you go and try and prove the one for divisib divisibility by 11, which basically says that if I've got a number, let, let me show you, I don't know, 4, 5, 8, 2, 1. The way I want to work out if this thing is um, divisible by 7, I put plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and then whatever this equals. So 4 minus 5 is minus 1, plus 8 is 7, minus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. This remain, this, this last number here, 6, is not a multiple of 11, so that means this number, 45821, isn't a multiple of 11. Anyway, I'll let, leave that as sort of an extension exercise for you to prove. You can do it in a very similar way to this. Anyway, that's all for today. I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.